Okay, uh, students out here uh, can uh, see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. I uh, will uh, go a bit uh, from the beginning, okay, because many students are there who couldn't uh, have uh, seen. Okay, so step one, uh, what are the things we need to arrange uh, before the exam and on the day of the exam, what you need to do and uh, after the exam, what you need to do exactly. Okay, so step one, I have told that we need to have good internet connectivity because it's very online. It's like uh, we are giving online exam, even though we are downloading, uploading the answer script. Uh, uh, answer script. Okay, then also there are uh, internet uh, data required okay and uh, you need a strong data okay next is a uh, ensure that all students should uh, have entered in google classroom and whatsapp see all the students are there in the google uh, class uh, in whatsapp group i know that okay but in google classroom many st students they have not entered please do enter okay and in whatsapp group uh, many students have confused in ba first semester one two three is there okay it's nothing but the same group only only the thing is that in one google, uh, whatsapp group we have uh, 256 capacity so we have created three groups okay it's same only next is continuation on the day of the means before the exam what are the things as a student need to arrange you need to uh, do a new uh, font page printing see uh, in whatsapp i have shared uh, this a new font page okay as well as in student internet by today it will be shared okay this a new font page you need to print it out okay so here may you students might have questioned that uh, sir whether we print out color or black and white it depends up to you okay black and white also will do printing also will do uh, color printing also will do okay so this one how many how much you need to print so suppose you are giving five exams so at least try to print like 10 copies okay so that if there is any mistake you can use a different one next is you must have a sufficient plain paper that is you can use other a4 size paper if you don't have a4 size paper you can use normal notebook plain paper okay next is pen ruler pencil eraser all these things should be uh, ready beforehand next from the uh, play store or app store you can download a good pdf scanner okay for scanning your answer script okay so you can use adobe scan doc scanner cam scanner adobe scan is one of the best as per my own experience i think next is the about the admit card many students they are seeing about the admit card yeah obviously as a student you you you, you will be panic panicking okay even i was even i was a student i also be panicking that sir exam is coming where's my admit card so don't Prasanji, we're not able to hear you.
there must be some connectivity problem, students. So just hold on for a few seconds. The recordings will also be sent to you guys, but try to attend this session. So for those of you who are in Google Meet, if you have any questions, you can ask your questions. And as Prasanjit was mentioning, admit card issue, the information will be circulated uh, very soon, either by today or tomorrow. So don't worry about the admit cards. It's going to be issued online. And for those of you who would like to step into the campus and collect the hard copy, you can come into the office and collect the hard copy also. Otherwise, you will have access to your admit card online. We will also be having a mock exam. It's scheduled for tomorrow and day after. So all of you are requested to listen to the instructions very carefully today or view the recordings later so that no mistakes are made for the mock exam. And that by, that by the time the final exams are conducted on Monday, you'll be ready uh, to appear for the exams without any errors. So I hope, while we wait for Prasanjit students, I hope all of you are preparing yourselves to appear for the exam well. Uh, it's an online exam, so we require your honesty in appearing for the exam and also your technical skills so that you have access to internet and you're able to upload your answer scripts and all the right tools to be able to appear for it well. But I'm confident that our Tetzel students are very technical, tech, tech savvy. You have all the latest technical skills that the knowledge since you've been having online classes and your teachers are also there to assist. So make sure that, you know, you are very familiar with everything before the final day's exam. And don't panic, it's okay. If you have any questions, the exam committee members are also there. They will be providing their email ID also in case of any queries. Okay, we are still waiting for Prasanji to join us. He is the exam coordinator for this online exam. So yeah, you can go ahead and type your questions, yeah, like Sushil is doing in the chat box. And we'll try to answer it in the meantime. I think our other exam committee members here, Miss Lily, Miss Supong Sangla, are you here with us? So we can take some questions. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Miss. I'm here. Like, uh, yes, students. Like, uh, if you have any uh, doubts or questions, you can ask. Uh, as we wait for Sir Pasanji to join back. Uh, before that, uh, I would like to inform you that uh, we have already sent a link to join the uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, I hope uh, most of you have joined the WhatsApp group. Apart from uh, Google Classroom, we have created informal uh, 
platform that is WhatsApp group. So if you have any uh, questions, questions you can also ask in that uh, WhatsApp group. So WhatsApp group has been created according to uh, the class wise, that is first semester, third semester, and uh, fifth semester. So if, if you have not joined the WhatsApp group, uh, you can send us email or also, uh, you know, we will send you the link to join the WhatsApp group. So as we wait for Sir, if you have any questions, especially the first semester students, because this is going to be your first time. Uh, Lily, we have some questions in the chat box from Sushil. He's asking, do we have to make a PDF for all the papers and submit it in Google Classroom and WhatsApp as well? No, uh, okay. See, students, uh, yes, you have to make the PDF of your answer script. Uh, and you have to send in the uh, link in the Google Classroom, in the link given. And in case if you're not able to send, you can contact uh, your respective subject teacher. Okay. For example, like if you are, uh, you know, you, if you are pairing uh, economics, so you have to contact your respective uh, teacher. That uh, if you're you, if you're not able to send through your Google Classroom, you have to contact your respective subject teachers, okay? I hope all, you, all of you know who uh, your subject teachers are. For example, political science, you have to contact your respective political science uh, teacher, so they will help you in assisting. Okay, so... Okay, what is the... Okay, well, there's the classroom, right? Yeah. But... Uh, if in case if they're facing problem only they can uh, they have to contact respective subject teacher so respective subject teachers will be giving their whatsapp uh, number to the students and then okay there's one question what is the timing for exam okay the timing for exam for the first semester and fifth semester the timing is from uh, 9 to 12 noon okay and then you will get one hour for uploading the Answer answers uh, that is uh, from 12 to 1 p.m. So, which means the total time in you have four hours for first semester and fifth semester, and for the third semester, uh, it will be in the afternoon from 1 to 3 p.m. And for four, 3 to 4 p.m., you can upload your answer script. So, for the first and fifth semester, it will be morning session, and for the third semester, it will be. Uh, Evening session. Okay, students, okay, uh, can I re just, uh, sorry, Lily, just one minute. Uh, can I request okay, sure. the students to log out of the Google Meet because Prasanjit is unable to join since it's already 2.50. So the students who are here on Google Meet, can you log out and join the live stream? The live stream is working. Yes. Please click on the live stream link and join so that our exam coordinator can come on Google Meet to present. Yeah, thanks. That should be fine now. OK. Yeah. Join. Okay. okay. I think uh, most of two hundred students will do. Other students, please join the live stream. Okay. Please join the live stream. It's okay. Let me present. Okay, um, anyone can say where I was? Okay, uh, where I was, anyone can say? Okay, 
let me continue with the format then. Okay. Uh, is my voice audible? Right. Uh, yes, audible. Okay. Yes, audible. Okay. Let okay. Let me continue with the formats because I think that students they should know the formats. Okay. Regarding the uh, this question paper, they will be receiving through WhatsApp or uh, this Google Classroom. Okay. So leveling of question paper, uh, this uh, answer script. Sorry, leveling of answer script. The first page has been prescribed by Nagaland University. It is given to us yesterday only. Okay. So this is the format of the page. So for commerce, what? uh is the format for commerce see for commerce become first semester are there third semester and fifth semester right so here see the format here pg ug b8 llb on the uh, left hand side you can uh, see so it will be ug you just tick the ug option and if you become first semester you write become first semester examination 2021 if you're like a third semester, right, become third semester examination 2021. If you're fifth semester, become fifth semester examination 2021. Okay. Then uh, next is the department or the college. So Tetsu College, Dimapur. Okay. Then roll number, you will get in the admit card. Registration number also will get in the admit card along with year. Okay. So year also will be written in the particular admit card. So if it is first semester of 2020, like that, you'll get. Okay. And then subject. For commerce, the commerce student, the subject will be commerce. Okay. And for paper, you need to write the paper name. Suppose, for instance, my paper was uh, financial accounting one, right? So my uh, you paper name into write financial accounting one. And what is my paper code? BC104. You need to write that. Okay. And for become a third semester, only the, the thing is that everything will be same. The only thing is that you need to write the and uh, this you need to make the changes in the uh, semester uh, where you're writing the become first semester there only become first become third and become fifth the fifth for the fifth semester it will be writing become fifth semester okay and on the right hand side of the upper portion of the paper siphon page you can see total number of answer pages right it's then three Bec and uh, here the page number is basically when you start your answer okay from that page it will be counted as one okay next page will be two third page will be three like that and date is basically on that day you are on the day you are giving the exam that particular date okay and you can come at the bottom of the page where you can see a signature right signature along with date that signature is basically the signature of the student okay and you can put the date on which date you are giving the exam of that particular subject okay next is this uh, those who are giving backlogs and repeaters okay so if you're giving backlog and repeater like for bcom uh, if you're if a, if a uh, third semester student is giving the backlog of first semester so um, he will be he or she will be writing like become first semester backlog examination 2021 okay you can see the right hand side of the screen uh, become first semester backlog examination 2021 okay and uh, the remaining thing is same like uh, college will be that's college and roll number registration number subject paper name which paper you are giving you need to write the paper name and the code okay and uh, total number of answers answer pages that how many pages you're writing except the font page you no need to include the font page as paper number okay then date is there and uh, at the bottom of the page you need to give a signature along with date now for management also is same See, for management, uh, it's given BBA first semester, right? You can see the screen, right? So, uh, for UG, uh, PG, UG, B8, LLB is there, okay? So, you need to select the UG. And the next is the uh, dash examination, 20, 2021, right? So, that dash examination, you can write BBA first semester. If you're BBA third, write BBA third semester. If you're BBA fifth, write BBA fifth semester, okay? Then, department or college. So that is Tetsu College, Dimapur, roll number, registration number. Okay, you will get in the admit card, write that, and subject. Subject, your subject will be management. Okay, and paper. That is basically the paper name. What paper you are giving? You are giving financial, accounting, or marketing management. That paper you will be writing, and write the code of that. Okay, and on the right-hand side of this uh, paper, that is on the top, you can see total number of answer pages. There's three. Means three means uh, excluding the this uh, 
phone page how many numbers of answers uh, this uh, answer pages you're writing okay so that number of pages you need to write one two three like that okay next is the date date is on which date you are giving the exam and on the bottom of the page you can write uh, your you can write your signature and you can give a signature and uh, along with that particular date okay now the signature many students they have uh, they might have kind of question that uh, your signature will be like full signature or uh, like short signature any signature will do okay next is for bb for ba for b also it's same only a bit difference is for ba okay for ba like obviously the first option pg ug ba llb will be selecting the ug level ug okay then uh, next one next particular is examination dash examination dash 2021 so here dash examination will be ba first semester if you're ba third semester write ba third semester if you're ba fifth write ba fifth semester okay then department or college will be that's college dimapur simple roll number registration number will be getting in the admit card uh, write the roll number write the registration number okay registration number you should write with the along with the year okay then subject you are giving political science okay so write political science you are giving history write history that will be the subject okay next is the paper paper will be the paper name okay when you are getting poll science poll science uh, basically the poll science is the subject right so on poll science will be getting the paper that in question paper only will be there the name of the paper okay it's nothing but the name of the paper okay so the name of the paper will be uh, like public is it can be public administration or as far your like answer uh, question paper okay then you need to write the code okay then uh, the remaining thing will be same like total number of pages uh, excluding the font page how many answers uh, answers pages you are writing that number of pages into write the date on that day you are giving the exam that particular date and on the bottom of the page you need to give the signature along with that date okay now for backlogs and repeater if a third semester student is giving the backlog or repeat uh, our repeater for uh, the first semester then to write be a first semester okay backlog examination 2021 then department will be same roll number will get in the admit card registration number also will get in the admit card okay then subject will be either you are giving history subject or political science you need to write the subject okay then paper paper that basically the paper name you get this in the question paper okay in question paper it will be written the name of the paper okay along with that code will be there write the code also okay and uh, on the right hand side uh, the above top uh, this top of the this particular page total number of ans uh, answer pages is there then date is there then down uh, you need to give the signature along with that date okay any confusion in this font page anyone okay next is the remaining pages in remaining pages what you need to write means where you will be starting your answers on that page what you need to write okay so here uh, from the next page that is where you will be starting your answers you need to write in every pages roll number registration number year okay registration number along with that year and signature okay and this one you need to write at the bottom center of the page okay and in every page you need to give the page number okay on the extreme top right now see how it will be see this is the page okay here in this page you can see you have just started your answer and see on the down portion this uh, uh, this uh, bottom sent uh, bottom this uh, bottom of the page you can see bottom center of the page roll number is there registration number and signature right and on the top corner of the page see the top corner of the page is written page number one right so you can write that okay and you the next page will be page number two and follow the same process give the roll number registration number signature okay so remember my students there will be page number is compulsory for all the pep for all the answer pages and at the same time roll number registration number along with year and signature will be compulsory for all the answers pages you are writing okay so basically the final outlook will be like this font page will be there see the font page okay then from the next page you'll be starting uh, writing your answers so the next page will be page number one page number two page number three and see the down portion of the page you can see the roll number registration number signature okay and same uh, you can continue it till the last
page of your answer okay and that particular you just total it up one two three so total there are three pages the three pages you can write in the font page here in this portion total number of answer pages right here you can write three three pages okay okay so after writing you now need to uh, this scan this particular sir uh, this particular uh, where you've written this basically in the form of pages right so this all these pages just compile it into one and you need to scan it okay scan as one single pdf file okay so you can use your adobe scanner and you can scan it uh, all the files into one scanner into one uh, pdf file okay and you need to save this particular file and you need to save it as per paper code and roll number okay now paper code is you will get in the question paper paper code will be there right like history 301 underscore and your roll number okay okay remember students always follow this format paper code and roll number if you are not following this format ultimately your uh, hard work will be in vain next uh, after like uh, the completion of your uh, this uh, answers answer uh, then uh, exactly like uh, for morning shift at 12 and for evening shift at 4 we'll be sending you one google form link okay where you need to fill up some uh, forms like your name roll number registration number okay uh, and you need to upload the particular pdf scan let's get this pdf answer script okay so here one thing you remember in mind that you you can assess that particular google form using this only uh, through college mail okay many students they're using private mail so you can assess them okay you need to use college mail only so you can receive that particular google form link in google classroom as well as in whatsapp okay next is after the exam when you fill that particular google form okay in that google form link that will get you will receive a confirmation uh, confirmation message okay after submitting you just click the submit button and you will receive like within a second you will receive one uh, by default uh, receive a message okay that uh, your answer script has been successfully submitted. So which means it's confirmed, okay? If you have not received any message, you can uh, confirm this with our exam committee in charges, okay? And student will also be required to submit the hard copy of the answer script to the college whenever situation permits. So here, regarding the answer script, you uh, obviously will be submitting us online. But the thing is that the hard copy of the answer script keep it with you okay when college open we'll take it from you okay next is in case you are unable to download question paper or submit answer script via google phone link then uh, obviously uh, student will face this type of problem okay then uh, here for students we have uh, in charge set Okay, that is basically the exam committee members. For first semester, Miss Lily and Miss uh, Supong Sangla, contact number is there. For third semester, Sir Sabur Ali and me uh, also will be there. And our contact number is there. And for fifth semester, BCom, BBA, Arts and Commerce, Backlog and Repeaters, uh, myself. Okay, my role uh, by this uh, contact number is there. Okay, or you can email it to exam committee, that's the college ORG. Okay. Now, here, during the day of the exam, okay like you are giving pol science okay so pol science 601 or 50 yeah pol science 501 so pol science you know your subject teacher right so the subject teacher uh, will be taking attendance okay on the um, before the starting of the this uh, exam okay now how he or she will be taking attendance that one i'll be showing you okay just wait i'll be showing you that Students, uh, you have any doubt in the phone page? You can ask me now. Or anything you want to ask. Sanjit, there are some question, questions in the chat box. 
A student is asking, will for page numbers, can, can they write on both sides of the paper? And will the page uh, on both sides be counted as one page? Okay, uh, for this, I suggest students, okay, to uh, no, not to write on the font and back of the page. Okay, uh, you uh, exactly uh, write in one page, in particular, don't write on the back of the page. Okay, write in one page, one uh, answer or like complete your answer and take second page. Don't write on the font and back of the page. Okay, understood? So, so when you be using like two pa uh, two papers so it will be like page number one and next one will be page number two okay so students don't write on the font and the back of the page your answer okay write only in one page one side your answer okay and write page number one on the top of the paper okay got it i hope i've given the answer yeah okay and alex is asking only three pages or can we take more than three pages yeah, yeah, yeah. I just give an example. Okay, Alex. Alex, listen. I've just given an example of uh, one to three pages. So, so you can use your own like 10, 20 pages. You, you how much you can write. Okay. So that uh, particular pages uh, number uh, one, two, three, four, five. You can write, and that the total that is 19 pages, 20 pages. You'll write in the phone page. Like phone page, there will be there is a one option is the total number of answer pages. So that one you can write there. Okay. Prasanji, there's another question asked earlier by Kitty Menla. They got a link to fill up a form. And in the form, yeah. university roll number is asked. Is that their roll number in okay. college or in the admit card roll number? OK. So yeah, uh, for the uh, university roll number, admit card will be issued by today. Okay, I think they are scanning and they will be issuing by today the soft copy. Okay, so that soft copy, from that soft copy, you can write their university roll number. Okay, so please wait for some time and then fill up the form. Okay, you will get your admit card and from in that admit card, your registra registration number, roll number will be there. Okay. Okay, apart from that, anything you want to ask? If some have already submitted, I think it's okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for like uh, fifth semester and third semester, obviously this particular uh, uh, this roll number and registration number will be same. Okay, for the three semester is same only. So they have uh, they know their roll number, the previous roll number, so they have submitted. Okay, there's some more questions. Let me filter them for you, okay, Prasanji. Um, uh, okay. We have already filled up the, f um, hold on. There are two spaces for a signature in the front of the page. So are we supposed to sign both? No, no. Okay. See students, just listen. See uh, here under these two, yeah, two, si two uh, spaces are there, right? One is for scrutinizer and one is for examiner. Okay. Examiner is the person, basically the teachers, the teachers who will be evaluating your papers. They are the examiners and scrutinizers are the, the, the person uh, who are nominated by the administration. Okay, that is basically the HODs and deans and all. Okay, they will be scrutinizing. So there is no option for teach, uh, student signature in the in the particular uh, font page. Okay, so that is why I have uh, uh, done the signature, the student signature in the middle of the page. I mean, said. Uh, in the this down middle of the middle of this uh, two space right so you no need to give signature on the this uh, blank spaces of scrutinizer and the examiner signature no need to post because it's not for you guys okay you need to uh, give in the middle your signature okay apart from that anything Isha is asking if answers need to be written on A4 size paper. Okay. So, see, regarding A4 size and uh, normal plain paper, you can use either A4 size or you can use normal plain paper. Okay. Like notebook, uh, plain paper you're using, right? That notebook paper also you can use or plain, uh, this A4 size paper also you can use. It's up to you. Okay. Is it uh, anything you want to ask? 
Are there more queries? Regarding the nearest district administration on the Google form that was issued, what are we supposed to write? Kajizo asking that. Okay, regarding the district, uh, yeah, it's written like nearest uh, uh, this uh, district administration, right? So nearest district administration is like if you're staying in Dimapur, we know our DC code, right? This DC, uh, where is our DC uh, office located, right? In Duncan Basti and all. So uh, in every state, in every district, like in Kohima and all, we know our like where is our uh, DC or our administrative office. So that particular location you need to write. Okay, for the people who are, I have also come come across like people, who are students who are from Manipur and all. So from Manipur also, there will be some DC, obviously for every district, there will be some DC. Okay, so if you don't find the location of that particular, you can just Google it. Just see the nearest DC of my state, uh, of my district. You will find it. Okay, that particular location, you just need to write. Okay. Okay, students, uh, you can see my screen, right? This is the Google Classroom of Become Trust Semester. Students, uh, uh, ma'am, you can see the screen yes sir okay so see uh, on the day of the exam the respective class teacher means respective subject teacher will take attendance okay now how it will uh, how the teacher will take attendance see here announce option is there now announce something to your class okay here the teacher will type okay um, uh, comment your role number uh, means uh, give your role number by commenting okay when uh, the teacher will type give your roll number by commenting so you can just comment it okay just come and see one one guy one student has commented see rajdeep shah can I miss he, uh, he has just written can come in 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 place of that can come in you need to write your roll number okay it uh, means like alex your roll number h one two three four five six or uh, rajdeep one two three four five six like that you just comment your roll number okay when the teacher will be posting this you just in return just in reply okay just type your uh, this roll number okay it will be used for tracking the students and for uh, marking uh, uh, present or absent in the attendance sheet okay it's very important okay students and about that i just want to show you one more thing regarding the google form okay you students might be aware that how the google form will look like okay is my screen visible google form yes sir Okay, see, see the Google form. It's B a BF six semester. It's like a previous one. So you, you uh, like if you are giving the first semester, it will be first semester. Uh, fifth semester will be fifth semester. If you backlog, it will be in that manner. Okay, see, subject code is there, and see, paper code. The same code will be there, and the name of the paper will be there, and the date when the date the exam is particular exam is. Okay, and you need to put your email address. Email address is Tetsu College email. Okay, your Tetsu College email. Okay, then any roll number. Your roll number will be there. You'll be getting in the admit card. You'll be writing that. Then any registration number that one also will be getting there. Okay, you'll be writing there. Okay, then upload your answer script here. See, uploading option is there. So here you need to upload. Okay, and remember, students, while uploading, you need to upload only PDF scanner. Otherwise, if you uh, upload the doc scanner, okay, it means uh, in doc, you have scan in doc format. Uh, doc means document format okay it will not accept here only pdf file will be accepted at the same time while filling up this particular form use your uh, college mail okay college mail not your personal mail okay understood and regarding the subject teacher if you want to contact any subject teacher uh, excel sheet i will share with you by today see all the like eco deva brother sir number is also there you can contact them okay so on the day of the exam um, like today there is eco exam eco 101 so Deva Brata, you can just contact to sir, sir, if you face any problem at the same time in first semester under exam committee, who is the in charge, like Miss Lily and Miss Mong is in charge, their numbers are also there, you can contact them. Okay, if you face any problem or any kind of issues. Okay. And uh, listen, guys, tomorrow there will be mock test. Okay, mock test uh, for uh, this particular, uh, B, uh, I'm just showing you one particular chart. Okay. Tomorrow there will be like BA first semester and become BBA all the semesters. Okay, so BA first semester, uh, I will take, take sociology 101. Okay, so here sociology 101, even though many students from uh, Paul science, from history, they are not taking uh, sociology, might not take sociology. Okay, then also just give the, means just give this particular taste. Here, the thing is that I'll be uploading the sociology uh, question paper, okay, in general, in all the first semester Google Classroom and WhatsApp, 
what you need to do is that you need to just uh, follow the proper format that is uh, basically uh, the font page okay the font page how to write the font page okay and the next page uh, sociology obviously many students they know they don't know even uh, uh, means they have a, they might have a zero knowledge about sociology okay because they are not that that particular uh, student uh, means that particular uh, means uh, they have not taken honors of sociology okay but the thing is that you can write anything what you know in two pages okay and uh, in two pages you write the page number one and two page number one page number two and write the this particular your roll number registration number and a signature in both the pages and scan that particular file and send it uh, using the paper code okay that is sociology 101 and give your roll number and send it using the link i'll be sending you the link at exactly 12 pm so you will be sending that link to uh, that uh, throw that link uh, to me okay or to the exam committee okay and in between if you face any problem you can contact your respective teachers like here those students were pol science students if you're facing problem like font page you forgot okay or the next page what uh, what to be written okay or how you are facing problem in uploading uh, uploading answer script if you're pol science student can contact the pol science teachers if you're history students can contact the history teachers okay uh, regarding this if um, you you can contact the exam committee in charges also okay see exam committee numbers are there you can contact them also okay got it so tomorrow there will be like be a first semester and become uh, become and bba all the semesters and day after tomorrow will be 50, uh, on day 15 third and fifth semester okay okay so here don't complain that student uh, sir i have not taken sociology so we have given sociology sociology just uh, just uh, it's uh, it's it, uh, the main concern is to what answers you are writing that is not the main thing the main thing is the format what is the format what's the procedure that you are following okay understood everyone okay so yes, with this uh, anyone have any query or anything you want to ask just ask now okay uh, yeah obviously my number is also there you can call me up you can ask no, don't worry but if you want to ask now anything you can ask Mr. Sanjay, this um philip sunowar is asking that if they write one answer for five pages would that be one answer would that be one page and do no, they have no, no. their roll number and registration number in all of the five pages? Yes, yes, yes. They need to, yeah, you are using five pages, right? For writing one answer, you are using five pages, right? For every, uh, that is, it will be counted as five page. Okay, you, it will be counted as five page. And in every page, you need to give your roll number, your registration number, and into signature. Signature is very compulsory, okay? Signature into put signature, okay? Okay sir can we get the form again uh, because some of us have made a mistake what form do you need uh, this today's form today this particular survey form please say yes i think they're talking about the google form issued by the office okay uh, you you have done mistakes Okay, we'll we'll see on that. Okay, you just you just uh, can't take me then. Okay. Um, regarding the schedule for the mock exam, Prasanji. Yes. Uh, some students are confused. I think yeah. they're asking. Another one. Uh, am I audible? Sorry. Hi. Uh, yes, you are. Because they're asking about what about for general students based on that schedule. For example, if BA first semester has Social 101 tomorrow, then even if they don't opt for sociology, they all have to appear the mock test, is it? Yes, yes. They all need to appear the mock test, uh, this uh, sociology, okay? Even though you don't know the answer, it's okay. You can write your own, whatever you know, write the two pages, okay? And the main thing is you need to follow the proper format. Don't make mistakes in the format, okay? The font page, write. Uh, I'll share the PPT with you all, guys. Okay, just see the uh, format, how it is written, the and the from the next page, uh, you you'll be starting writing your answers. So how the format is uh, uh, done, you need to exactly follow the format. Don't make mistakes in the format. Okay. So even if they do not take Social One Zero One, they're not opting for that paper. They still appear for the mock. Uh, yes, 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 miss. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, and another student asked earlier about what is the maximum answer script limit submission? Okay, maximum answer script limit submission, right? So here, see, uh, these particular uh, pages, okay, will be scanning in one PDF scanner, right? So PDF scanner, mobile PDF scanner, now it has some capacity. Okay, if you uh, print, uh, if you like scan 30, 50 pages, if you scan more than 25 pages, okay, the system will show a corrupt, uh, corrupt message. Okay, like for example, Adobe scan, uh, after 25 pages, they will show that uh, this particular might not work. Okay, but even though you click on okay, and it will work obviously, but the thing is that you will face problem uh, in uh, like uh, this um, uploading, uploading, it will take time or in other uh, this uh, cam scan and, and all. 25 uh, pages are limitation okay apart from that you can't scan more than that okay so the thing is that um, 30 pages 35 pages is fine okay 30 to 35 pages is fine uh, don't uh, cross uh, like more pages like uh, 50 60 pages don't cross that okay write the uh, quality one don't write uh, many things at once okay and you use a proper like a page okay uh, like notebook page and all and write in proper don't write so big big and write on one pages take uh, uh, 10 uh, one answer take 10 pages second answer it, it will be more okay you know your limitation uh, uh, at the last uh, uh, means uh, you you might face problem while uploading the particular things okay understood student 30 to 35 pages uh, fine yeah can you suggest the appropriate app for pdf scanner the appropriate uh, app is adobe scanner okay i'm using adobe scan is very good and even uh, during the six semester students those students who have using that many students have been shifted to adobe scan because they face problem while this uh, who, the students who are uh, like more than 25 pages they can't scan it okay so uh, this uh, adobe scan it can scan more than 25 pages okay sir for mock test tomorrow we have to print out the font page out right yeah yeah you need to print out that is the main thing right you need to write the font page Just a clarification, um, Prasanji, printout is not required, but it should be handwritten and scanned. Uh, font page, right, Miss? Yes. Yeah, font page, uh, this, uh, yesterday only Annie has sent us the font page. Yeah, so okay. font page for the students. Well, we, yeah, we can, we can use that prescribed font. We need to use that prescribed font page. The prescribed template has to be used handwritten, yes. Yes. right, handwritten. No, no, no. We need to we need to print it out and we need to do Xerox. So the students need to print it out and Xerox it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just they need to do Xerox. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, regarding the this uh, this uh, question paper will be given. O obviously, there will be MCQ and objective, right? So you need to write only the objective part. Uh, leave the MCQ MCQ part. Okay, write the objective part only. Uh, some of us not enroll in Google Classroom. Okay, sociology Google. It's okay. This uh, t t tomorrow's this question paper I'll be sharing in all the groups, like uh, first semester, all the Google Classroom groups, and as well as in uh, all the WhatsApp group. Don't worry, you'll be receiving. Google Classroom, which is exclusively created for receiving for Okay, uh, it's fine. Right. Anything, if anything, Wax? Sir, please give uh, brief information for students who have uh, first semester backlogs, whom to submit the answer script and uh, who will be sending the question paper. See, uh, for that uh, one particular uh, Google Classroom, as well as uh, WhatsApp group has been created, right? Uh, this uh, for the, in general, for the semesters uh, like BA, uh, first, third, and fifth, and as well as for the uh, BCom, also, BCom and BB also. Okay, so there I'll be sending the question paper. Okay, don't worry. I'll be sending question paper. I'll be sending the links. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'll be sending the question. I'll be sending the links. There only you need to uh, f uh, this. You can get the question paper and you need to upload the answer script there only. Okay. Okay, Prasanti, sir, how many copies do you? Yeah, I feel like there's a little confusion about the handwritten and the printout required. If you can clarify that to the students. On page, no, ma'am? Yeah, the front page and then the answers can be handwritten, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, that's the font page, yes. 
the phone page that PDF file I've sent you right in uh, WhatsApp uh, in student internet also by today it will be uploaded. So that phone page into print it out. Okay, you can print it out and you can do Xerox and th that Xerox will be black and white also will do. Okay, no need to do color. Okay, then apart from that remaining pages you just write handwritten answer. Don't write this computer typing uh, answers. Okay. Do they need to Xerox the front page though? If it's printed out, one copy is enough, I think. One copy print printing out means, uh, uh, ma'am. Uh, regarding, uh, we can we can print out one copy and remaining will be doing. Uh, we need to do Xerox, right? Like uh, five exams will be there. Only one copy. How it will do? Like five exam. Oh, uh, for the other to, subjects. For the other. Yeah, subjects. yeah, yeah. For the yeah, for the other subject. Okay, I mean, students are asking here, like how many uh, copies, copies we need to do? Yeah. yeah. So like uh, basically uh, five to six exams are there, right? So um, as per your like, if it is like six exam, do double, like 12. Okay, do Xerox, okay? Because if you make some mistakes in the font page, you no need to do cutting and all, just write in, in a new one, okay? Yes. Yes. Apart from that, anything? Yeah, about commenting our roll number, which one do we need to comment? The roll number or the any roll number okay for uh, tomorrow uh, this one you can you can comment uh, if you get your any roll number uh, comment any roll number but uh, if you don't get your uh, this uh, obviously by to today you'll be receiving if you don't get by chance you can comment your college roll number okay but in the exam time you need to comment your any roll number only okay you need to comment your any roll number in the exam time okay after receiving the admit card into comment your annual roll number okay because we'll be judging you based on your annual roll number not on your personal roll number okay in front page do you need to fill it handwritten or do you have to type it font page see font page you need to print it out okay so in font page when you'll be printing it out okay so th there will be blanks are there that blanks you just uh, fill up with your pe pe handwritten okay see i have given the example uh, as a format that one i have just i have written okay i have not typed it so, okay that font page you you just print it out i mean that is pdf file you just print it out that particular page and from that particular page okay you you, you just write it on that particular uh, blanks okay with your uh, with, uh, with handwritten okay yeah one year one you can print out and rest you can do xerox it's okay black and white will do okay so i hope it's fine if you have any question regarding anything you can ask me or call me okay or you can uh, text in the whatsapp group okay and this one will be uploaded soon this recorded videos and your ppt and, and uh, this uh, tomorrow's mock test also okay thank you everyone thank you sir okay okay